All right, we've arrived in Geneva, Switzerland. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to store the bags here in Geneva for about four hours in one of the storage lockers. And then I'm going to go explore the town, come back, grab the bag and my luggage, and head to Paris on the bullet train. All right, so I have actually went and used the baggage storage here in Switzerland, in Geneva. So I stored my bags. All right, guys, we are coming to you from Geneva, Switzerland. I'm on Lake Geneva having a beer to open up. All right, after about a couple hours cruising around Geneva, now let's go back to the train station, get our luggage, and head to Paris. All right, so we're going to claim the baggage here. Just like that, voila. As easy as that. Perfect. Geneva. So there's two main stations here in Geneva. There's the airport and then the city center. This is the city center or well, it's close to the city center. This drops you off right in Geneva. What I've actually done is dropped off my, my bags. So I was going from the villages in the Alps, took a two hour train ride to get here, decided I would store my luggage in the storage containers. I think it's like 15 franc, eight franc, I don't know the exact price. There's like different sizes, depending on your bags. So I'm over here. Headed to Paris. It's gonna be a three hour, three and a half hour train ride from Geneva. I think they said it leaves at 326 in the afternoon. Not too bad. Alright, here's the bags, baggage claim. And this is actually a shopping area right below the station. So yes, we're in the station, but we're below the tracks and the main area. You can do shopping and cafes and eating down here. I uh, just wanted to show you this area real quick before we go ahead and get on the actual train which is actually where we're going next all right so unlike the other destinations like Germany or Netherlands Belgium Paris or France actually requires some sort of check they do an additional uh, customs clearance here in Geneva so thought I'd throw that out there something to keep in mind. So I'm just going to go up to the top deck here. Let's see. That's nice. Bye-bye, Geneva. It's actually a really nice setup. I have my bag up there my other bag down and I have my laptop with the Wi-Fi and everything connected so there's a plug great setup it's gonna take three hours and about a little more than three hours I think it's a bullet train so we'll see so as you guys know Geneva is in the far west part of Switzerland so it's really close to the border with France uh, this is us just kind of going through France it doesn't actually hit bullet train status until it gets around Lyon. Uh, so we have to go kind of slow up until Lyon. Then it starts to pick up. 
Uh, at this point, we're still going very slow because we haven't gotten to the point where they turn it into a bullet train, a high-speed rail train. All right, but now as it starts to get flat, it actually picks up in speed, and we are outside of Lyon, and now we are just absolutely hauling butt to Paris. And now we are really hauling butt. I think we're going like 300 km kilometers per uh, hour. So definitely a bullet train now. Okay, we have made it to Perry. Well, that wasn't so bad, considering how far away Paris is from Geneva, but it was, it was a long time to be on a train, but what do you suppose is worse? Three and a half hours on a plane or three and a half hours on a train? The plane's worse, because you can walk around a train eat more leg room so I'm not complaining I'm happy all's good now what is this oh okay I'm like what in the heck is that I think this is where I came last time Okay, I think this is ground level here. Trains. Oh, that was ground level. So this will take me to the subway, I guess. Oh no, ground level. Two different types of ground levels. There's the metro, but I'm actually going to a hotel somewhere around here, so we shall see. Oh, we're in Paris. And here's a look at my view from my hotel room. There's the Eiffel Tower. Thanks for watching, guys.